I've got two questions for you. Uh, earlier today, the Wall Street Journal reported uh, citing people inside the Saudi government, uh, essentially saying that Saudi Crown, Crown Prince Mohammed bin Salman regularly mocks the president in private, uh, making fun of his gaffes and questioning his mental acuity. The reporter also noted that uh, MBS preferred uh, former President Trump to uh, President Biden. And I wondered if you had any reaction to that. I, I don't have any comments to that. I've got another question about um, the economic message that we've been hearing from the president. Um, he obviously has talked about the stark choice that the country faces between uh, allowing Democrats to remain in power and putting Republicans in power. Uh, he's talked about how Republicans will crash the economy, they'll shut down the government, go after Medicare, Social Security. It's a pretty stark choice that he's laid out. And I wonder if this president, who's talked about how he can work across the aisle, uh, work in a bipartisan manner, work with Republicans, believes that if we get to a point of divided government, if it's just going to be chaos, or if he actually thinks that things could, could actually work between a Democratic president and a Republican Congress. Um, so let me actually let me say something about your first question. I'm not going to comment about you know uh, kind of ridiculous statements. I'm not going to comment on that. Uh, but I'll be very clear. Uh, the president has been very clear from the beginning of this administration uh, that we needed to review our relationship with Saudi Arabia, and so that is something that we are going to continue to to review. Uh, and once we have something to share, we certainly uh, share that. The decisions that OPEC Plus uh, made uh, recently, uh, we saw it as them aligning uh, to, uh, uh, with Russia. And, um, and that is going to hurt many, many uh, economies across the globe. Uh, and so, you know, the president is going to have to have more to say on that. And when he does, uh, you'll hear directly from him. On your which your sequit your I'm I'm not going to give it any more light. I'm just saying that more broadly. And uh, on the second, on your second question, look, it's not. Don't take my word from it. For, of it, what they're going to do the account to the economy. The re congressional Republicans have been very very clear. Uh, they have said if uh, you know that they want to put Medicare and Social Security on the chopping blocks. They have said that. That is their plan. And if they do that, that is going to hurt Americans. And if they don't get that, they said that they would shut down the government. That is what Republicans have said. They also have said that they were going to repeal Inflation Reduction Act. Again, that's going to, if they do that, it will take away the power that Medicare has to negotiate that we now have to negotiate uh, prices for our seniors to lower those lower those pre prescription drug prices. They would take that away in a, in, in a time when uh, middle class uh, families are dealing with inflation. They want to take that away. This is also a plan, as you know, that deals with climate change in a real way. And they want to take that away. So that, that's them. That is them saying that, that we are laying down the choice uh, between congressional Democrats and congressional Republicans.